this is a video on how to program your own pattern into the uh, Brother 970 console. I'm going to do card B because the principle is exactly the same um, but you don't want to sit here watching me um, play. It's a bit like uh, playing one of the old computer games. The thing to note about an electronic is obviously you only put in one pattern repeat so if you're taking it off a, a punch card you have to work out what the pattern repeat is and just put one in. As you can see I've just finished uh, it's actually a sleeve and it's telling me that uh, my knitting is complete so I need to go back to main menu and go to the design icon which is the that one there so again I'm sorry about the lighting one that's flashing it, you know, it's got stitch pattern, garment pattern and a little pencil. Accept that one. And we're going into the stitch designing, which is the first one. It's telling me that the pattern number is 931 because I've got 31 of my own patterns in here already. Because uh, the 970 has got a much bigger memory. And it's asking me how many colours do I want. There's two, three, four. Four is the maximum. Um, for ordinary patterns where um, you're just going to use a normal fair isle or tuck, it's two colour. Now, you have to tell it how many stitches you've got in your pattern. And this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, six stitches wide. And the maximum number of rows you can have for a stitch design is 998. That's not number of um, rows, that's number of, that's the pattern row. And this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight rows high. Card B. And then it gives me a little grid. And my pattern is uh, a blank. So I don't put anything in. And just with the cursor, you just move across. And then you go to the number two key, which has got a, a black dot in it, black square in it, and that's the one to put it in. And then we're a blank and a dot and a blank and a dot. Do the up cursor and this I think is exactly the same. Going backwards and it really is as simple or as tedious as that. Now go up a row. You can see, hopefully you can see, it's telling you what column you're on, number one, and what row you're on. We're on number three now that I'm going to put in. And this is... It, it is tedious, uh, but it's a lot quicker than uh, drawing out of my last sheet, I think, because if you make a mistake on this, you just go back and take it out. So say I'd um, gone across and I'd stuck that there. We don't want it. I just press the number one key and it erases it. So you just carry on doing that. I'll have to carry on because it will get unhappy. Uh, that's a blank. That's a... So it's a very simple pattern. Don't want to uh, confuse anybody too much or should I say I didn't want to confuse myself um, so we now have a black oh see look I'm going mad um, in a bit uh, too many videos I've oh, just got to uh, stop confusing myself and stop talking it might be easier And 
and there we have our eight row pattern that's in press enter it says end creation click across to the OK and it's done then you go to as per usual you go to uh, pattern positioning we're going to do that pattern we're going to use the main carriage we're going to have an all over pattern and it's asking for the pattern number which I've forgotten already I think it was 931 yeah it looks about right it's telling me uh, it's a six row uh, six stitch pattern which is what we put in and so that's three either side that's centering it and there it is now we've actually got a variation on at the moment um, which you need to take off I put the variation on um, when we did the lettering to, to reverse it uh, can you see it it says v, v1 just here that's telling you you've got one variation on so you need to come back out you need to go along to the pattern variation click on it and as you can see it's highlighted so we press the number one which is the blank and that takes it off and then we come back out and go back if we go back into knitting it's my knitting completed I need to um, take off I have a, a pattern uh, placed in there so I need to go to sorry I can't see properly I need to go into the uh, positioning which I'll get there in a minute into the positioning click over to pattern delete now this doesn't actually delete your pattern it just deletes the fact that you've got it in uh, ready to knit so it's asking me to cancel it yes and then we go back into pattern positioning three one over to the knitting screen and there is the pattern you need to put it on the stop screen and zero the display which is press number press zero I'll do this off zero and the down cursor that's now zero the display and hopefully you can see that there hope that's reasonably helpful <laughs> 